is going to be a leader, a religious leader needs to know not only their own tradition, but those of the others in their community. And I can tell you unequivocally that my students love coming here. Um, they particularly enjoy the hospitality that we really know the Langar. And my, I've had also taken students to the Parliament of the World's Religions for the past two parliaments, the one in 2015 in Salt Lake City and the one in this past November in Toronto. And again, my students are immensely impressed and kind of in awe of the Sikh community because of the Langar. At the Parliament, which is a big conference of eight to 10,000 people, the Sikh community does the Langar every day at the conference, and the students get to volunteer with them, and they're really ambitious. And most of my students have found that a deeply, profoundly moving experience. Um, I've done interfaith work here in Rochester for well over 15 years now, and I'm deeply committed as a Christian priest to being in dialogue with people of different world religions, and I really think living in the world we're living in now in particular, when things have become so polarized, and compassion and the values that religious traditions teach does not seem to be the thing that's running our world at the moment, that those of us who have a religious and spiritual sensibility and some sense of connection with the sacred and the divine, we have more in common with each other than we don't, actually. And we have a great deal to offer our culture. And I am particularly um, impressed with the teachings of the Sikh tradition. You are loving God above all else, the sense of earning an honest living, and then most of all, of all, the giving back in service to the community, the Langar, doing charitable works, being kind. And I'm very aware that the Sikh community has unfortunately suffered a great deal of violence since 9-11, which is really, really unfortunate. And I am deeply impressed with the extent to which your deep spirituality and understanding of your own tradition has only meant that you always act in peace and always bring wisdom. And I think that you're really, really important members of the interfaith community. Um, and I know Harvick and I have been involved in interfaith stuff together for years and years. And he's talked to countless numbers of my students when I brought them over here for classes. Um, I really hope to see more sick people involved in interfaith because you bring a great deal of wisdom to the table and it's a voice we don't get to hear as much. And on that note, I would do a quick little commercial on the 13th of April, which is just two weeks in a way, on Saturday evening from six to eight at the Interfaith Chapel. And we're having our spring interfaith banquet, which is gonna be an inter intergenerational interfaith dialogue. We're inviting not only students from the University of All Different World Religious Traditions, but people from the larger community to come and enjoy a meal and have interfaith dialogue around tables together. So it's a free meal. It's at the Interfaith Chapel on the Yobar campus, and any and all of you would be invited to come and be delighted to have the Sikh community be part of that. So thank you again for letting us come here. Please know that my students always come away from this site visit, and it's like one of their favorites. They love being here. So thank you for your hospitality.